repair this. Is this thing gonna stall on me? Nope, and just like that, it went away. Got an 03 Avalon today. This one has an issue with stumbling and almost stalling when coming to a stop. So first thing we're doing is we're scanning and we can see that there is no DTCs. I'm just doing a quick check of my temperature sensors. Since they equal about each other, we know that the sensors are likely reading okay. At a cold soak, all your temperature sensors should be roughly around the same. Let's start the vehicle. And the first thing I'm going to want to look at are fuel trims. Since this sounds like a drivability issue and there are no DTCs, I want to see what my trims are at. Appear to be okay. They're canceling each other out. So I have positive 10 and negative 10 for bank 1. Positive 12, negative 11, 12 for bank 2, which is perfectly normal. So those trims look to be okay. So right now we do not appear to have a problem. Let's give her a test drive. So immediately off idle, as soon as I'm driving, I can see that my trims are climbing. So that tells us that at the very least, we do not have a vacuum leak because the symptoms would be the opposite. In the vacuum leak, the more load you have on the engine, meaning the less vacuum you have in the engine, the better the trims will get or the more normal they will get. So I'm going up a hill to simulate some different loads. And it looks like the more load I have, the worse these trims get. So that's a big clue there. Now that the engine's is warmed up, we can look at our mass airflow reading while we're in drive and in idle. And a rule of thumb is you want the mass airflow reading to be roughly equal to your engine displacement. So for example, this is a three liter engine. We should have a roughly three, lead, three grams per second of airflow at idle in drive. And that's just a function of the parasitic draws of the engine. And we can see we're pretty high up there. So this is more and more looking to me like a bad mass airflow sensor. So I wanna do a couple of wide open throttle runs. I'm gonna do it in a low gear so that I stay under the speed limit. And basically all I'm looking to do is verify that my mass airflow re reading is accurate. So here's our wide open throttle pull. We can see the math tops out at around 57 grams per second at 4,000 RPMs, and our calculated load is right around 67%. That's way too low for a three liter engine. We should be seeing something closer to 120 grams per second using the 40 times rule. Our trims are around 30% positive, but our O2s are switching just fine, and both banks agree, so the ECM's fueling strategy looks fine. Could it be the fuel pump? Maybe but even then our airflow should be way higher. So this smells like a bad math, but it could also be pirate air that's sneaking in after the sensor, but before the throttle. So we can see where our MAV sensor is, and there's a lot of intake tubing in between the MAV sensor and the, in and the throttle. So all of this, if there was a leak here, it wouldn't be a vacuum leak, but it would make the MAV sensor inaccurate. I have my scan tool here so I can monitor if this is making a difference. And I'm just gonna spray around connections so here I got the math sensor out and our sensing element is all the way in there And we can see we have a bit of contamination on it. And our intake air sensor looks like there's some sort of residue on there. That's the side facing the air filter. That's the clean side. So I may have to check if the air filter is one of those oiled air filters because there was a TSB a while back, I believe it was on a Honda, where those oiled air filters, if they're over oiled, or even if they're just cheap quality, they'll send contamination down and they'll start killing MAF sensors like crazy. 
So let's try and get this guy cleaned up, put him back on the vehicle and see if we can get it running. So to clean it, I'm, I'm just spraying down in there with an electric parts cleaner and I'm going to very gently go in with a zip tie and I'm going to scrub that element. I am being very gentle. If you're not careful, you will break that heating element. Let's see if that clears up our trim issues. So now just cruising around, I can see heel trims are way better than they were before. Gonna do a couple of wide open throttle runs so we can recreate our initial tests to verify that we have made improvements to the issue. I still see that we do have some lean trims and that's to be expected because I'm not gonna be able to clean that sensor out perfectly. And cleaning a mass airflow sensor, just a diagnostic step. If it does improve, then it needs a mass airflow sensor because cleaning it is usually not a permanent solution.